Hello all, today we will be creating a hologram material in Unreal Engine 5. Let's jump in. I'll right click in my content drawer, create a new material. I'll call this M underscore hologram base and let's double click to open up. So as we see in the viewport, there's a few elements to this material that we'll create. We'll create these vertically moving bands, the Fresnel effect that creates the sort of glow around the outside of the object, as well as a smoke that will sell the, the effect and make it look sort of smoky and airy. So in our material, let's pull off to the left here and create a series of scalar parameters. So Let's copy a scalar parameter four times. And then next to it, we will right click and type generated band to give us this material function. So we don't need all of these, but we will use the functions, the scalar parameters we've created. So let's type band width underscore one. In the next, we will type sharpness underscore one. The third, we will type y speed underscore one. And then in the final, we will type uv scale bands underscore one. Let's separate these a little bit. So width can go directly into width, sharpness directly into sharpness. And I will multiply time by the y speed. This is how we're going to control our speed. And we'll pull this into offset. And then I will right click and say texture coordinate. And I will multiply our UV scale by the texture coordinate. And I'll drag this into input coordinates. So now let's add some basic values for these. We don't want bandwidth to be greater than 0.5. Uh, sharpness will just set a max of one. Y speed will leave open-ended and we should be good here. So Let's add some basic values. So we'll set Y speed to 0.1. We'll set sharpness to one. We'll set bandwidth to 0.2. And we'll set UV scale to five. So now if I right click and say start previewing node, I should now see, so this UV sc scale is creating five bands. So if I type 15 now, the single band has been multiplied 15 times. This controls the speed. So if I make this five, it's gonna go very fast, but we're not gonna do that. And sharpness controls <clears throat> how sharp this band appears. So if I type 0.5 or 0.1, we zoom in, you'll see it's a little sort of blurry around the edges. But if I type one, it'll be very sharp. Okay, so we're going to Stop previewing this node. And I'm going to put a comment around this that says band underscore or band one. And we'll copy this and we'll call this band two. We're going to rename these variables by changing the underscore one to underscore two for all of these so that we have distinct sets of variables so we have more control in our material instances. So I'm changing all these to underscore two. And now we have two sets of moving bands. All right, now let's add our smoky edges. I'll right click and say screen position. I'm going to multiply by a scalar parameter, which I will call smoke scale. What we're do doing here is we are going to keep the smoke texture we'll add in a second in screen space instead of world space. 
So we will then type panner. And we will right click down here and say scalar parameter. We'll call this smoke speed underscore y. We're going to make our smoke move only vertically. So we're only going to use a y. We'll pull off here and say make float to. We're going to drag this from the x to the y. And then we'll pull this into here for speed. Then we'll pull off here and say texture sample. It'll automatically go into the UV. And then in texture, we will type smoke. And we're going to use this tiled smoke diffuse material that comes with the engine. Great. So I'm going to add a base variable. I'm going to say 0.1. And I'm going to say the smoke scale for now is 1. And that's good for now. So then we will pull off of here and say cheap contrast. I'm going to pull off contrast and create a scalar parameter. We will call this contrast. <clears throat> and this will give us some control later on. Before moving on, we'll notice what we've done here in our texture sample. We'll see in the preview that if we actually move our editor around, it's showing us a sort of screen space preview of how the UV will work in the viewport. So that's really helpful. Now, let's multiply our Fresnel by our smoke. We'll create some more room. And then let's multiply this by a scalar parameter. Let's call this glow multiplier. Let's set this to one. And we'll set this to five. And what we need to do now is combine our lines with our Fresnel. So if we right click and say start previewing node on this and make this something like a sphere, we'll see what the Fresnel is doing. So if we change this, this value, you know, we can kind of see this glow. So what we need to do now is combine our bands, which we've created before with our Fresnel. And so let, let's do that up top. So right click and say blend overlay and I will drag the Fresnel into the base and I will drag the bands into the blend. So now if we right click this we should see the combination of these two materials or these two functions. <clears throat> we'll drag off here and say multiply We'll multiply these two values. And then we will add these two values. Let's multiply here. And this is where we're going to add color. So let's say vector 3. You can also press and hold the 3 key on your keyboard and left click. <clears throat> so let's right click this and say convert to parameter, call this color, and we'll add a default of say a blue, let's right click down here and we will say linear interpolate. And we're going to use this value. So we'll pull off our multiply and use that as our B. We'll use our smoke and Fresnel as our alpha. So we can see the combination of these two values here. So if we change our 
smoke scale a little bit, we'll start to see the combination of these two. Basically, we just don't want anywhere that there's smoke or, you know, the black as the diffuse of this smoke to emit a color. So let's drag off here and say multiply. We'll drag this into here. And so now we can start to see this material and we'll, we'll tone up the different scalar parameters to create, um, you know, these are just default values. So let's pull that into our emissive color. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to change the blend mode to masked and we'll pull off of our opacity mask. And this is where we're going to create the, the sort of, uh, alpha. So let's right click and say scalar parameter. We'll call this dither max opacity. I'm going to pull off here and say dither temporal AA. I'm going to pull off and say multiply. I'm going to create another scalar. Let's call this max opacity. I'll pull this into here. My dither I'll set to one and this I'll set to 0.5. I'll stop previewing this node and you'll see we have the start to our hologram. So let's save this and then we'll create a material instance. Before we add the values, we're actually going to come back into our material and organize these better so we can control them by group. So what I'll do is I'll create a new group I'll call this band underscore, well, let's call this band one. And then I'm going to select all of these and we'll add them to band one. And so we'll see now that it's in this group. I'm going to select this and create a new group called band two. I'll select all of these and add it to that group. And everything else we can just leave as a global. So I'll save this. I'm going to return to my material instance that I've created. I'll double click and let's add our values. If I browse back to this, I'll right click and I will say create material instance and I'll call this M hologram base purple. just want to double check. Let's have a great. So I'm going to open this up the material instance I just created and let's add some values to it. All right. Now that we've opened up our material instance, let's compare it to our object in the environment, which right now is a character mesh and we will tune our parameters. I'll set these values to 0.2. 0.75, 100 for the UV scale, 1 as the Y speed for band 1, 0 0.4, 0 0.1. And I'm also using the tab key to move through these parameters without clicking. Change this to 1, the Y speed to 0.1. Change the con I'll keep the contrast at 0.5. I'll make the dither max opacity 0 0.75. Yeah, I'll do 0.7. Uh, the Fresnel power three, and you'll see this is really how we get that you know sort of glow effect around the edges. So I'll try something in between like 10. And I will change the glow. I'll keep the glow multiplier at five. The line intensity is subtle, but I'll, I'll boost that and make that 100. Let's make the max opacity 0.4. Oops, let's see. I like it a little more like that. We'll, we'll keep it at 0.6. 
smoke scale will make 0 0.5 and then the smoke speed y will keep at 0.1 so now when i press play i'm gonna i'm gonna boost the scale of this okay so it's at 3 3 so when i go up you know i can see this this hologram in my environment and that is all for this tutorial I hope you all learned something from this video and stay tuned for more Unreal Engine 5 content. Thanks all.